Today in History. It's May 23rd and we continue with our journey to the past. Yep, uh, three events to be exact to share with our listeners. We're going to get to that in a couple of minutes. But first, here is my quiz question. A widely used computer programming language is number one, Java, or number two, Mocha. Okay, mm. sound like coffee words too, right? Yes. Okay, a widely used computer programming language is number one, Java, or number two, Mocha. If you know the answer right now, you can put it on our Bondi board or text in pounder sharp one zero four five for fifty one to win an eco bag and mug cup. And now let's get to these events that happened uh, in the past. Today in history. In 1829, a patent for the accordion was granted to Cyril uh, Cyril Demian. In 1859, Mandalay Palace was completed. And in 1995, the first version of the Java programming language was released. 네, 1829년에 Cyril Demian이 어, 아코디언 특허를 냈고요. 1859년 오늘 만델레이 궁이 완공됐습니다. 또 1995년에는 첫 자바 프로그래밍 언어가 출시됐죠. 바로 오늘 어, 이런 일들이 일어났습니다. Exactly. But we begin today with a patent of one of the most played and popular instruments in the world, and that is none other than the accordion, which was patented on its modern version on this day in 1829. Right. And this patent was granted to piano maker Cyril Damien in Vienna, and his design was described as an instrument concerning automatically coupled chords on the bass side. And we're seeing on point in radio right now. Mm. A picture of that accordion. You know, I've never even held an accordion, never mind learned to play one. No, I've never held one either, but I've seen um, people play these. Not not that often, um, but at special you know, events. Yeah, or... like Oktoberfest or yeah, something like exactly. that. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Mm. Uh, however, records show that the modern accordion was invented in Berlin in 1822. And even to 1820 in Russia, showing that the accordion was conceived in different places due to its universal appeal. So it may be tough to lock down which country came up with the very, very first accordion, right? Right. 처음 아코디언이 제작된 시기가 1822년 베를린 혹은 1820년 러시아라고 하네요. Mm. And, of course, it has great appeal. The instrument is widely spread across the world today, with some countries using it exclusively for certain pop genres, like B-pop in Brazil. Mm. And additionally, the accordion is used in jazz music, both uh, as solo and with other instruments as well, or mm. with with orchestra performances. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's a fun sounding instrument for mm-hmm. sure. Well, moreover, the accordion is also featured in rather unexpected genres such mm-hmm. as heavy metal, more specifically, for the folk metal subgenre. Let's hear what that sounds like. Sounds like Soundgarden to me. Right. I think it is, but it's an accordion playing. But I think they were ba- uh, battling, and one of those songs was from Soundgarden. Pretty 아, cool. <laughs> 예, 예상치 못한 장르에도 등장하는 아코디언이 되겠네요. Mm. All right, so let's move on now to a couple of years later when a renowned palace was completed in 1859, and right. that would be Mandalay Palace mm. in present-day Myanmar, the last royal palace of the uh, last Burmese monarchy. 그 미얀마 버마 왕조의 마지막 궁인 만델레이 어, 그 궁이 완공됐는데요. 만델레이 mm. had a short life as a royal palace. The foundations of its construction started way back in 1857. We can see it on point in radio there. Right. And by November 28th, 1885, it ceased being the center of the government when the royal family was captured. Yeah, and today Mandalay remains as a major tourist destination with astonishing buildings such as the Hata mm-hmm. or the Supreme Court. 네, 만델레이는 관광지로 현재 남아 있죠. And interestingly, all the buildings um, here are just one story tall. Huh. 
but they have different uh, heights of roofs. So the number of roofs or spires above indicates the importance of what or maybe who lies below. Oh, interesting. So a all the they're all one story, mm -hmm. but if it has one roof, perhaps it's not such an important building. Right. Two would signify more important, three, four, five, and so on. Oh, yes. that's really interesting. I've never heard of that before. All right, well, computer savvy, are you or are you not? Doesn't matter. You're probably familiar with the term Java. Mm -hmm. In the late 20th century, uh, this is when one of the most widely used and widely popular computer programming languages was released for the first time. Yeah, 컴퓨터 언어죠. 바로 자바 언어인데요. 그 개발자들이 어플을 개발하는 데 사용하죠. But it's none other than the Java language, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And this was developed to cater to the increasing need for a language that could allow developers everywhere to create what we now call applications. Yeah, that's right. And what the goal of Java is, is represented in its slogan, write once run anywhere, meaning that a code that runs on one platform shouldn't need to be rewritten to run on another platform. Mm, now, Java was developed by James Gosling, and it was originally designed for interactive television. But it turned out that Java was too advanced for television. I see. Well, the language was first called Oak, O-A-K, after an oak tree that grew outside of Gosling's office. Then it was called Green. And finally, it took the name of Java from Java Coffee, mm. which was said to be largely consumed by <laughs> its uh, creator, Gosling. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I like the story, right? Mm. All right, well, that was a fun today in history. Before we wrap it up, the answer to the quiz question. The question was, a widely used computer programming uh, language is... And the answer, number one, Java. That's it for today in history. When we come back, it's Travel Notes time with Steve Miller. First, let's listen to Matt Monroe, The Music Played.